Barbara. I'm late today, very late, but look, it's warm outside, except it's raining. So you can see the 95% humidity. <laughs> Morning, it's Barbara. I'm really late today. Thank you for joining me for coffee. I slept really well last night. Thank you for your healing thoughts and good wishes. It was nice. And then Dennis brought me a coffee in bed. And so I started off with a very relaxing morning and it's a rainy day. But we will be out and about today. We're gonna go visit Aura. I'm gonna cut her hair and we'll bring the dogs and have a little Sunday afternoon visit with her and uh, walk the dogs. So we'll be out in the rain, it's okay. We'll be muddy again, it's okay. It was gonna happen anyway. Apparently it's supposed to cool right down again after this bit of warm weather because it's 55 out there but very damp so i had a pretty good day yesterday considering that i was feeling extremely low energy as predicted the um, coffee helped me feel better um, but i was very low energy and dennis was such a sweetheart and pampered me a little bit and no oh, no i'll do it you're tired so that was really nice Anyway, so I had a good day. I finished my book. I started another book. <laughs> well, I'm reading Marion Zimmer Bradley. Dennis, Dennis grabbed these out of, the, out of our book bin or whatever. She's an old timey um, fantasy writer. And uh, well, maybe she's science fiction. I'm not sure. I think fantasy. Well, both. Anyway, whatever. So that's what I had been reading before. I had, I was reading Storm Queen and Hawk Mistress. And this one is Heritage of Hust Hester and Shara's Exile. Um, so I'm in the middle of the first book, but I put it down. I read my bookmark and I put it down and then I um, did some crafting. Dennis went in to play on his computer or whatever he was doing. And I, so I watched Leslie's podcast and vlog and I plied my pink yarn. I am not 100% thrilled with the job I did, but like I said, I've been very, uh, it's been a long time since I, very long time since I plied on a drop spindle. I used the um, resin one with the pine cones in it, and I have to say, I really like the way this one spins. It keeps it spin for a really long time. So I'm, maybe today, my plan is, I don't have a nitty knotty that is appropriate for a mini. So I'm gonna find myself a nice sized book and use that as a nitty knotty, um, which means I'm not really gonna know how much yardage I have. Because the nitty knotty is a yard. Wow. I think it's actually might be a meter. It could be a meter or a yard, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, that's how you kind of guess your meterage. So I'm not sure, or your yardage, I'm not sure what I'll end up with. But this was about 20 grams, 25 grams. So I think I've got a, a DK weight here. I did not, well, it's, it's variable. DK, um, well, fingering. I don't know. I have to get some yarn out and see what I think it is. It's a it's a heavy a heavy fingering or a light DK is probably what I ended up with. <clears throat> but it feels still feels good. I don't think I overspun it. I overspun probably overspun the singles because I had a lot of pigtails. But um, anyway, so I finished processing this. But I did that last night while I was watching Leslie, and. Um, and that was fun. And then I, and I'm putting my spindles here. Let's hope that they don't attract the dogs. I don't think they will. The dogs aren't spending too much time behind the chair anymore because they can't get all the way around because the pan blocks it. So they're not back there too much. The other thing I did 
was I took out my um, I cord bind off that I had started on my Mobius cowl. And of course that didn't go great because, you know, I'm impatient. So I took it out and then I knit another row or I knit and purled another row just to clean up the edge before I do my bind off. And I haven't done any exploration of the bind offs yet, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. But my next row will be the bind off row. And then, you know, so I was thinking about that because I want to do my podcast, but a couple of things. Number one is if I finish that, then I don't, I have one pair of socks that is a whip. <laughs> so I need to think about what I'm going to do next. I'm working my way back to maybe picking up my Forest Parks cardigan. Uh, but I need to think about what do I want to do next. I need to look at my patterns and my queue. Um, because this year I have done all small things. So my FOs this month are my Jack Socks, Aura's Hat, my Tess Durbervilles Shawl, my Mini Spinning, and maybe if I finish this bind off, my Mobius Cowl. So I have a lot of FOs this month, because I, so I have been crafting and feeling good about that, but um, I haven't started anything. Well, that's not true. Of course, I started tests in the last week and a half, a week, right? But because I'm doing small things, I'm finishing them, ah, which is very gratifying, very gratifying. So anyway. I'm getting my hair done on Tuesday. I feel like even when I try hard, although my hair doesn't look terrible today, I didn't, and I didn't try that hard, I might wait and do my podcast after I get my hair done. Is that too vain? Is that too vain? Then I will have finished my bind off. I, I, my test is um, blocking, as are my jack socks. I'm sure it's dry, but I didn't, I did stretch it like crazy. So I might still be able to tie it. I might not have to button it. We'll see. So anyway, so that, that's what happened yesterday. It was a good day. It was a very good day. And I did not read up to the very end. I stopped reading and started knitting and that might have helped. Plus I was exhausted. I mean, that helps to be exhausted. The sleeping part goes really well when you're really exhausted. We have a lot of activity down here today because I usually come down by myself, but not today. We're all here. So there you go. That's that's my news is for today. Um, I'll be thinking about what I want to do with the blue single that I spun on my drop spindle. I was trying to figure out if I could do it do do it two ply because there's a way to wrap the single around your hand so that when it drops off your hand it's pulling off from both ends and I forget what that's called. Yeah, I forget what that's called, but it's a thing. It's a thing. And then as it drops off your hand from the from both ends then you have uh, you know, two ply. And I have some idea that that's going to be much easier to do to ply with a drop spindle than the chain ply. The chain ply was, you know, aw very awkward for me. And, uh, and I'm not sure, and I'll be interested to see how it you know, when I soak it and, you know, let it dry, I'll be very interested to see how the yarn looks then. Because I think I'm being, maybe being a little too critical. So, I'll be very interested to see that. And maybe I'll try to do that today. But I would like to know how much yardage I have. But on some level, it does it really matter? It's only 20 grams, so it's going to be small no matter what. There's, it's not like, oh, if I had 27, 
you know, if I had 27 grams length worth, then I could do something. Maybe I could do it with this. It's not like that, so it probably doesn't matter if that made any sense. So maybe I won't worry about, or maybe I'll, you know, use my math skills and just measure the book. I could do that too. That, that's a possibility. In fact, I could do that. Maybe I will. <laughs> anyway, so there you are. That's the thoughts for what's going on today. Spend some time with Aura. Cut her hair. She'll like that. And uh, put our eyes on her. See how she's doing. Oh, and it's Sunday. Sundays are coming very quickly. It feels like the time is zooming by. Um, so I'll have a crafting with Christy tonight and working on my drink shelf. I have been having the urge to do that, but I haven't done it. <laughs> but I'll do it tonight. And maybe like the other couple, last couple of Sundays, I might continue stitching on it even after we stop so that I'll get a little farther away. But today maybe I will, be, before we get together, I'll figure out all the temperatures for the drinks in February that I haven't put color into and maybe I'll put color in so I'll get February all done and it'll be beautiful and then um, be ready to go for March and I won't even hardly be behind only a few days so that'll be good what's today the fifth so there you go no what's the date today sixth, sixth. Yeah, so I'll be behind, but not terribly behind. I've been I've been behind her, for sure. All right. Anyway, I hope you have a good Sunday. I hope you are well and all is going well for you and that you're safe. Please, please stay safe and stay sane.